Hello everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we are making homemade apple butter. I have never made this before, but I'm looking forward to it. My husband, Doug, he loves apple butter. But the only thing is, once we cook this, it's going to cook for a long time. It's going to cook in a slow cooker. I said that a lot. Cook, cook, cook. In a slow cooker for about 10 hours. Then if it's not to the consistency that you like, then you can puree it in a blender, food processor, and get it down to that smooth texture. That's what he wants. He will not eat chunky apple butter. As a matter of fact, he's downstairs right now, told me that. He is recuperating from an outpatient surgery, and he has been watching episodes of Hee Haws dating clear back to 1969. You youngsters out there don't really remember the show Hee Haw, but it is growing up in the 60s, I remember it quite vividly. It, uh, I'm a pickin' and I'm a grinnin' and uh, hee 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 ha ha. You can remember all those little things, uh, Roy and Buck and all the main characters, uh, but that show ran for, I think, 23 years, something like that, 26, somewhere in there. Uh, but anyway, he's been watching that. It's about ready to drive me nuts. So he should be better real soon, and that way I don't have to hear the theme song to Hee Haw one more time. That'll be great. So let's get started. We're going to need six and a half pounds of apples. I got Golden Delicious and Fuji. Uh, I saw where some recipes recommended different types of apples, and it said also it's nice to make a blend of apples. So that's what I'm going to try today going to require one half cup granulated sugar. There again, you can adjust the sugar to your liking. If you like it a little less sweet or more sweet, just adjust it to that. She uses a half cup granulated sugar. One half cup packed brown sugar, one and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon salt, one tablespoon vanilla extract. That's what we're going to need. We're going to need a slow cooker, and that is about it. So it's going to be really simple once I peel 13 potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. Ugh. Once I peel 13 apples. That's about how many it took to be equivalent to six and a half pounds. Made one full crock pot. So next, let's add the sugar, cinnamon, salt, and vanilla to the crock pot and mix well. So we need our one half cup granulated sugar. This almost makes me feel like I'm making pie. One half cup packed brown sugar. Get that out of there. It's packed in there pretty tight. I wanted as much brown sugar as possible. One and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon. One quarter teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. We're going to mix it well and then we're going to slow cook it for about 10 hours and we're going to uh, stir it every few hours. Okay, I'm going to turn it on low, cover it. See you back in a few hours. Well, actually, it is about 20 of 11. I'm going to see you back here about 9 o'clock at night. Hey, this is what the apple butter looks like after about 8 hours. I'm just going to whisk it a little bit to get some of those bigger chunks broken down a little bit more. I could use a potato masher if I had one, but I don't. So I'm just going to do it this way. It's going to have to cook for at least another two hours yet, but it's getting there. I'll let you know how much this makes when it's cooked the whole way down and starts to thicken up. It smells heavenly. Next, I'm going to scoop out a little bit of the apple butter, about a cup at a time, and I'm going to puree it. Then I'm going to put it back in the slow cooker for about another hour uncovered. This is going to be hot. <laughs> well, 
Let's just do one cup at a time and hopefully that works out okay. Okay, let's look. Oh yeah, that made a difference. Smooth as can be. Holy heck, that really pureed. Let's do two cups this time. Yep, looking good. Really smooth. Okay, now it's nice and smooth. It went in chunky, now it's nice and smooth. Now it's just going to have to thicken. Okay, I scooped a little bit out because it'll thicken as it's scooped out and cools. So the test is to see if this will stay on the spoon for a couple of minutes. And it does. It should be thick enough. There again, you can cook it a little longer. I just uh, have the lid tilted so the steam can be released. But I'm going to try it just the way it is. This is after 10 hours. Pureed at hour number nine and took it out and started to cool it at hour number 10. So to me, that looks like apple butter. That's some good apple butter, folks. I would recommend this recipe. Very good. Very good. So I hope you enjoy your apple butter and thanks for joining me here once again on D's Delights. Have a wonderful week everyone.